Hello everyone. So on the occasion of uh, National Epilepsy Day, I want to share a message with you. You see, epilepsy, a seizure can happen actually to anyone. And uh, that's why it does not mean that the life is and there. The most important thing we need to see why the seizure has happened because there are so many causes which is, uh, which is if we treat properly, seizure and epilepsy can be cured completely. Like metabolic cause, somebody is having sodium low or up or sodium, uh, your calcium is low, your magnesium is low. All this can cause seizure. Even your sleep deprivations and lots of, uh, you know, severe anxiety, stress can give rise to seizure. But it's, these are all treatable with a very short duration of treatment. So you need to consult your neurophysicians for this problem. More importantly, I want to highlight is the stigma. Even the theme for this year is stigma because there are so many bad stigma which is happening to a person who is having seizure, who is having epilepsy. People think, we think that uh, this, is, this is a mental disorder and the problem, the seizure attack is being controlled by someone ghost or someone you know, from aliens or something like that, which is absolutely wrong. Seizure occurs because of some abnormal electrical activity in our brain and that symptoms come as in, you know, sudden jerky movements in our body, which is treatable as I said, and it depends upon what's, uh, what's the underlying cause. Another thing I want to share is what are the things you should do and you should not do. So what is you should not do is somebody is having scissor attack, never ever close the nose or mouth or try to put something in, in the mouth because this can be catastrophic and even if you try to close the nose and mouth, this will increase the chances of brain injury because brain is not getting oxygen slapped right, properly. What you should do? You should do someone is, can have scissor and the nearby whoever standing there who is nearby make the person lie down in a flat surface or in a an, in an bed maybe and remove the any sharp objects so that he does not get, he or she does not get the injury. Turn the person in one side so that the secretion which is there in the oral cavity comes out, does not go into the lungs and you know later on can give rise to pneumonia otherwise. And seizure once happened, the attack lasts hardly for you know 15 seconds, half a minute or one minute max some sort and after the seizure goes then take the person to the physician, to a neurophysician and take medicine properly. Another aspect I have to, you know, want, want to highlight is uh, duration of treatment. Any person ha having seizure, they become panic. It's natural because even I would have been the panic also. They think that once seizure has happened, the life is lost. It's not like that. Really, it's not like that because there are so many intellectuals, high valued scientist intellectuals having scissor, but they are having a good productive life, a normal good productive life can be there with person who are having scissor or epilepsy, provided you take the medicines properly and take precautions what is, what is being advised by your doctor, that is very important. And the last of course, let's join hand together and spread this awareness and remove this misbelief that you know this is something which is being controlled by bad things com controlled by other man it's not in mental disorders and seizure and epilepsy can be treated and can be cured thank you